Hello, coolers. Welcome back to Viva Barça, the home of everything Barcelona. In this episode, we are going to be discussing solely on Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and a recent interview he made with Spanish outlet Mundo Deportivo, where he spoke on a wide range of topics. Of course, he spoke about Thierry Henry, Pedri, Nico, Gavi, Real Madrid, Arsenal. Mikel Arteta and many important and interesting stuff that he had to say in this latest interview which we are going to be discussing on as we move ahead. So guys, without any more choice of time, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, if you're a Barcelona lover, don't hesitate to do so. Give this video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. After a few months of isolation from Arsenal, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was pushed out of the team and his contract terminated on the last day of the winter transfer window. Barcelona signed him on a free transfer, with a deal possibly lasting till 2025. Ahead of the move, there was a lot of controversy about his form and level, but Oba has hit the ground running pretty quickly, scoring a hat-trick on his second start for the club against Valencia Noles. The Gabonese striker talked to Muno Deportivo as part of an exclusive interview where he name dropped a certain Thierry Henry who also made the switch to Barca from Arsenal, he said. I talked to Henry before signing for Barcelona, he said. The striker went on to say that he was also in conversation with his former teammates Hector Bellerin and Mark Batra about any potential move. I talked with Hector Bellerin and Mark Batra about my possible move to the club. Bata told me that it was a very big club, which is what I already thought. Aubameyang opened the scoring in sensational fashion against Valencia with a finish into the top corner. He then hit his trademark you know, front flip celebration, which he reveals he learned from a Real Madrid legend. He said, If I'm being honest, I learned to do the somersaults from a player who plays for the other team, Madrid, by name Hugo Sanchez. He scored two goals after that and became the first player in the 21st century to score a hat-trick in Ligue 1, Bundesliga, Premier League and La Liga. First footballer of the 21st century with a hat-trick in Ligue 1, Bundesliga, Premier League and La Liga. Yes, I saw the data last night and it is something incredible, really. It would not have been possible without some luck, though as Pedri's superb shot from outside the box deflected off his back and you know went into the roof of the net. He said, I already apologized to Pedri for the goal. I knew that I touched it, but I didn't want to say anything. It was a golazo. Mark Andre Tess, taken and Jody Yaba tried to play a long, uh, a long pass to Aubameyang throughout the 90 minutes, with the latter assisting his opening goal. He said, In Valencia, it is what the coach asked me. They had a very aggressive defense and had space in the back to exploit my quality. When we can run, we shoot. And that's what we did. Before the Valencia game though, Aubameyang got the chance to start versus Napoli at the Camp Nou. He was asked about the experience to which he replied. My Camp Nou debut, it was something incredible. It is a dream to play at the ground like this and receive this ovation. I was very pleased and happy. The truth is that it was incredible. Aubameyang was in fact very close to joining Barcelona in the summer of 2020 when his contract with Arsenal was about to expire. He decided to pen a renewal though after winning the FA Cup and Community Shield under the new management of Mikel Arteta. He said, I was very close to joining Barcelona back in January 2020. It was finally not done. It's what the transfer market has sometimes. Of course, at the time, he became one of the highest paid players in the league with his new contract. Now though, he had to take a salary cut before penning a deal with Barca. It is worth it though, Aubameyang certainly thinks so, he said. Of course, I think it's a great club and I really wanted to come. These opportunities only come once in a lifetime and here I am. As someone who has played top prize football for over a decade in the top 5 leagues, the striker was asked to share some advice for Nico Gonzalez and Gavi. He said, All I can say to Gavi and Nico is to continue to do what they are doing. They will enjoy and win a lot. Pedri, Gavi and Nico are very good. They play tremendous football and seeing them in person is even better than watching them on TV. Aubameyang left Arsenal on a rather bitter note after he joined a few incredible seasons there. 
Even winning the Golden Boot, his relationship with Ateta seemed rather vol volatile at the time. But the striker assured that the manager wished him luck for his Barca move. He said, Ateta wished me luck, yes. Ateta has tried to implement a modern, very Pep, um, Pep Guardiola um, style of football in the North London outfit as now, and Aubameyang can certainly see some similarities. He said, Some of the things we did with Ateta are similar. I still have to get used to it, but I am eager to learn. When I see how the boys play, I want to do the same. Aubameyang has a rather spectacular record against Real Madrid, scoring 5 goals against them in the past. He faces them in the month and hopes to add to his tally, he said. I have a good memory about Madrid scoring against them. It's always good. I hope I can score many more goals there. Heading into the tie versus Napoli, one would expect Aubameyang to be the extra motivated, especially after losing the Europa League final to Chelsea back in 2019. When asked if he still carries that memory, he said, Yes, I still have it nailed. So now I have another opportunity and also for us it is to go to the Champions League. My dream though is to win the Champions League with Barca. So guys with that we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't please make sure to do so so you always stay in touch with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time. Bye bye. Barca.